Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this um, swim pool with all this ripple effect in 3ds Mass and Corona Renderer. So the first thing we are going to do is, um, okay, I've already created this scene. Everything is in place. All I have to do now is add the swim pool. You can see swim pool all over the place, but this particular one, we're going to recreate this one all over again. Now, when you want to create swim pool, you know, when you want to create the, the, the water itself, I usually advise that if it is possible to create it with plane, okay, you should do so. All right, this is because plane makes it very easy for you to add um, subdivision, like segments, like this. When you create your own, it might come in as zero zero or one one, okay, like this. So you go to the modify tab over here. You come down to the length, to the segment, okay, and add whatever you think is suitable. And the good thing about this is, even though you didn't get it right the first time, you can always come back here to modify it. You can always come here to increase or reduce the segments. Okay, what I did before is I added 400 in the length segment, okay, and for the width segment, I added uh, 200, okay. This is not a rule. This is just what I felt like doing, okay? In another instance, I might have done, I might have added 350 or 300 there. But when I was doing this thing initially, I found out that 400 and 200 gave me a very close segment. And these segments are very important because the closer the segments are, the more fine your details can be. I don't know if you understand. What I mean by that is when you are adding a ripple effect and you have segments that are far apart, the ripple effect will not be fluidy. Okay, so that is why it is good to, as much as possible, as much as you can, make them close segments. Okay, when I say close segment, I mean that are, you can see the way my own is, make your own look like this. Okay, so now this pool is not a rectangular pool, not in the real sense of it. It has this um, place that went inside a little bit and came out, but I'm putting this thing in it. So how do I make sure that this other part that is not part of the pool is not showing water on the surface? Okay, I just do that by taking it down a little bit. I know that I could have easily used lines to trace out the shape of this pool and then apply a street modifier on it and then apply subdivide modifier on the street modifier. So with that, I can now get my segment. But in my experience, I have discovered that whenever I do that, the ripple effect of the pool is not usually that smooth, that fluid. It's, you know, sometimes coming geometrically and I don't like that. So most of the time, whenever I can, what I do is, I use this rectangle and then take it down a little bit. So I'm going to take this one down by minus 40 mm. Okay, I'm working in millimeter. Okay, when I take it down, let me put this thing in, in clay mode. Okay, when I take it down, you find out that the pool is now under. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Let's adjust that part. This is my pool trim. Just, yeah, just like that. All right. So this is just the first part. We have created the water, you know, the water geometry. Okay. Now let's start with the creating of the pool material. So I'm going to bring out my material editor. Okay. The first thing you need to do is go to the maps. Okay. You can find, map. this is the map. Then go to the general map. You are going to see noise. You go down to the end part. You see noise here. I'll bring it out okay first for at the first instance we are just going to apply this noise to this pool and for us to be able to do that we need to get our corona material out that's the corona legacy material and i'm going to apply this noise to the diffuse okay now that i have done that i will select the pool geometry that we just created and apply this to it okay because we need to be seeing what it is that we are doing okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start interactive render okay i'm going to start interactive render and we're going to see what we have just done the materials that we have applied to the pool geometry that we are that's the the water geometry that for the pool that i've created okay you can see you can see what we are having 
All right. So now you can see the noise map that I applied on this thing showing. So if I should do anything now, we should be able to see it. Okay, so I'm going to start a region render. The only place I'm concerned about is the pool area. Okay, so I'll come over here. There are some changes we need to make to these noise settings. Okay, so um, right now it look it is looking very big. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make this thing like uh, 200. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay. It is beginning to look like a ripple effect that we might want for a, for a swim pool. But this swim pool is, is just there with gentle breeze, you know, going over it. So I just need something that is tinier like this. Okay, let's leave it at 100 for now. Another thing we might do is that at this high, let's, you know, half it, you know, 0 0.5. Then for the low, ah. Let's do the same 0 0.5 there. Okay. Let's reduce it even further. Let's make it like um, 0 0.25. Okay. Zero point three. Sorry. Zero point three. Change it from re regular to fractal. Okay. And then in the in the um, level. Well, let me make it like six. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are done creating this thing, I'm not going to unplug this thing from this map. Okay. I'll unplug it from the map and then convert this thing to to swim pool material like so. Just take the reflection up. Okay, and then take the refraction up. All right, we have created water. I'm just going to come down here and turn on the caustics. Okay, and then to in the volumetrics, I'm going to put some color in it. One, three, two in the red. In the green, I'm going to put one nine nine. Okay, and then in the blue, I'm going to put two or three. All right, and then I'm going to say, okay, in the distance now, this is where we make the color show. I'm going to add like 5,000 in there. All right. I'm going to add like 5,000 in there or say 3,000. Let's see what 3,000 gives us. It's still, you know, in the neighborhood. Okay, so now you can see that this swim pool that we just created has no ripple effect. I mean, what is the water without ripple effect, right? We are going to create a ripple effect for this swim pool. Okay, and to do that is very, very simple. All you have to do is come to your modify tab over here and then go to your modify list and find this place. Okay, this place. Okay, in case you don't have this button that I have here, but I wonder why I won't have this button because it's, it makes your life so easy. Okay. And there's a video I've done on this channel where I show you how to create your own, own button. Okay. And save yourself time. The thing is when you create this button, you put all the modifiers that you use from time to time in there so that you can easily reach them. Now, what we need to do to get a ripple effect to show after we have placed our displaced modifier on this geometry that we created. Now, how we get this this ripple effect to come out is we are going to open our material editor and we're going to take that the noise map that we just modified and we're going to take it and apply it into this map area like so and then make sure that it's instance so that in future in the future if we want to like make any changes to this map we can make those changes from here now that we have applied it still nothing happened for something to happen you have to modify the strength this trend over there so i'm going to add like 10 for starters let's see what we're going to get 
Now, when I do that, you find out that our ripple effect will now start showing like so. You can see the way it is showing. If you want, you can make it, you know, more like make the strength like 50. When you do that, that is actually going to make it, you know, very, very, you know, it's a rough water now. But then you just have to like make it a little bit so that it will show, give it, give that vibe of, you know, swimming pool that has this gentle mild wind going over it okay yeah let me just take my camera forward a little bit to the pool so that we can appreciate it even more all right okay yeah so i think let me just let me let me leave this thing at uh, let me leave it at uh, 10 I think 10 10 is okay oh let me reach one 10 please all right so there you have it So I'm just going to minimize this and then go over to the render setup to ensure that everything is in order. I'm just going to leave the settings like this. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure that your denoiser is set to Corona high quality and then come over here. If you want to have caustics show, you know, when you have sun in this scene, okay, you just have to come to a performance over here. Just turn on this caustic for environment and it is going to come out. Okay, just check this caustic for environment and you're going to see the caustic, you know, showing in the pool. Okay, maybe in the future tutorial we can focus on that, but for now, this is how you create a ripple effect, ripple effect and, you know, materials, water materials in 3ds Max. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to hit the render button. When it's done, I'm going to save. All right. Okay, so there I have it. That is how you make your swim pool in 3ds mass you know using Corel render as your render engine of choice now if you're new to this channel if this is the first video of this channel that you're watching consider subscribing i drop video like this twice every week okay not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials when i do drop them all right thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one